week, a Vancouver man was arrested and charged with second-degree murder in the 2007 killing of a woman named Crystal Saunders. Her remains were found in Manitoba. But Kevin Charles Q has a criminal history in this province as well. In 2015, Q pleaded guilty to choking two women in BC in a pair of attacks that left both victims fearing for their lives. The CBC's Jason Proctor joins us now with more. And a warning for you, this story does contain details of sexual assault. Jason, you've gone through the 2015 court documents. What more do we know about what Q pleaded guilty to? Yeah, I have. Uh, we discovered these two charges, uh, which have not previously been reported, and I put an application in for the audio from the hearing uh, in 2015. Um, he pleaded guilty to the aggravated sexual assault of one woman and the aggravated assault of another woman uh, over a year apart, these two separate incidents. But I have to tell you, the, the details are horrific. Um, both women choked unconscious. Both women thought they were going to die in these uh, two separate incidents. One was somebody uh, that he uh, then sexually assaulted violently over the course of about four or five hours. The other incident uh, was somebody he had met on Tinder. Um, they had been in sort of a dating relationship. He slapped her during intercourse. She slapped him back, uh, and that lit off this change in personality, as the prosecutor described it, that uh, left her absolutely terrified. And uh, in fact, her 12-year-old daughter uh, came to her rescue, basically overhearing him at that point, saying there was something inside him that scared him, uh, that, that had been unleashed. So how did his criminal activities, criminal behavior in BC impact, if anything, the investigation into Crystal Saunders' killing? Well, this is the interesting part of all this. It comes down to DNA. When RCMP in Manitoba announced these charges in relation to the 2007 murder, they talked about uh, a 2014 case, I believe, where DNA tied him to that killing. Now, these events all happened here in BC. They were also DNA uh, determinant in that DNA linked him to these uh, incidents. And ultimately, he was forced to give his DNA over as a result of this conviction, uh, this pleading guilty. And so it kind of all comes back to these incidents here. This is informed speculation, but uh, th that ultimately have resulted in this cold case murder. And as we know, the RCMP are also uh, looking for information uh, as to whether he may have any involvement, any any other uh, unsolved incidents in other parts of the country, because he traveled back and forth between Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. Jason Proctor, thanks very much. And you can read more on your story on our website, cbc.ca/bc. Thanks again. Thank you.